I've got a big class of 32 children and there's not much space to, because um, they're quite big kids, to fit around and they all have a decent look. So with the visualise you can put it under there, it comes up in the, in the big screen there and they can just sit at their desks like normal and be able to get a good look at it. Now to go with the research that you've already done, I've got a real life spider in this jar that I found from over in the corner there and we're going to put them underneath the, mic uh, the microscope of the, of the visualiser and we're going to get a zoom in and get a real good look of them close up and then we're going to take a photo of them and make a diagram. They like watching what's going on but they're really keen to get up there and push the buttons and zoom on in and have a look and um, show their work under it and not only that, is, um, you can zoom right on in and get to the little tiny details of the picture so um, that people don't have to squint down and get really close to the object, they can they have to come to their desk and just watch it from there. Now as he's zooming in, he's going to get as close as he can He's going to focus it using the autofocus function and I want you to have a look what you can see, what you can't normally see if you're using your normal eyes. He's going to get really close in. You should be able to see something a little bit different. Can we get any closer than that, Mitty? Yeah. Who's noticing something different already? What can you see? Kirsten? It has a lot of little hairs. It does have lots of little hairs. You can see them all sticking up all through on the legs. Can you now zoom out a little bit Matthew? I want to take a photo of it now and try to get a really good image of it so we can start our diagram. It's a good shot. The students got really engaged because it's a new bit of um, technology and the way the world's going um, at the moment. Um, all the technology is going so fast and to, ke to get them engaged you need to go with it because if you like it or not they're, they're doing things at home with technology and to come to school and not have it is just um, a bit of a downer for them I suppose so they really enjoy it when they get to use new things. Thank you. Could you save that for us under parts of a spider? What we'll do is for homework tonight I want you to go home Research the other body parts, there are a lot more, um, the legs for example have lots of different functions, there's different parts of the legs. Go home, research that, bring your information tomorrow and we'll continue to add to our diagram up on the page there.